Hiya, how's it going? I'm going to make this bead today or give a quick example how to use flow along a surface. Really powerful command in Rhino that I get a lot of emails asking me why isn't it working properly. It's upside down. Well, I want to say a lot of emails, one guy really on the forum, but I thought I'd try and explain it. So the most important thing about it is this direction of surfaces, UVM and the XYZ. Um, we've drawn the triad there, there's a triad there that tells you where you're going and also when you use a DIR command it brings out um, the blue and the red arrow on, on, on the surfaces and they all need to point in the same way, that's the real secret to this command. Uh, I've also set blue and red lines on to the surfaces with, um, with a, a setting in Rhino which I'll show you at the end of the video how to do. So. Essentially, we're going to take the flames and we're going to flow them around this simple shape. Um, now, it's important also to find out where the seam is of the shape, so to see where you're going to start flowing from. And that's this line you can see here. Um, what we'll do is um, also see a command how to do that later on. Now, the other interesting thing about this command, because it's done with Rhino history on, we can move that and it'll update, so we can position stuff you know, where we want them, scale and so forth, which comes in handy. Okay, so this is our bead, it's nothing special, probably a little bit heavy if anything, but that's what we're going to use for today. Now, you need to make a clean surface. Um, so to make this clean surface, um, dupe the edges uh, and then I used uh, extract UV curve uh, with snaps on uh, quads to get them exactly 180 degrees apart and then I used the extract UV curve if the line's facing the wrong way if you click toggle it'll come back on the right way um, so from that lines I'm going to use sweep to and build uh, just a single surface. It's always better to make a clean surface if it's a technical shape because if you've cut anything and joined it, it can um, have funny effects. Now, it's got a lot of ISO curves in this. It's a heavy surface. If, I don't know if you can see all the, all the lines. So what we want to do is rebuild that surface so it's lighter. It fits well, so it's, it's usable, but it's just heavy. So we've gone for 12 in the U and 8 in the V and that works okay, you can see it's touched in the middle, it doesn't have to touch exact for what we're doing um, because we're only going to be flowing onto that surface and then boiling it away from the bead. So we're going to use another command now. Um, which is create UV curves, so we just click on the item and that brings us this box out which is essentially that the bead surface, the top of the bead surface um, but in the square form so a little trick if you press explode and then click sweep 2 it will build surfaces for you, you don't have to select any curves or anything and then we're going to rebuild that surface to have the same amount of UV curves as the bead surface now here we're checking uh, that the lines are flowing the right way and if you look they're not the um, blue lines are flowing vertically on the bead and the blue lines are flowing horizontally on the surface so we use a command called swap uv or uh, in, the, in the command line click on swap uv and you can see there that they're all running the same way also the white arrows are saying the surfaces are, uh, are um, out and the you can see the red surface on the bead um, that's another setting that I'll show you later on in the video to how to set up so it gives you an idea now we've got a command here called uh, adjust seam um, and that shows us where that seam is when it lights up that's where it is you can move it around if it helps but I just use that to demonstrate where it is so we're gonna flow the um, flames now we've selected them we're gonna select that corner and then we're going to select underneath there and I'll put our, bead, our flames onto the surface 
because we've got the flames half and half on the flat surface it's gone half and half um, in, on the bead surface so then we've got enough to boil in away and there because we've got history on we can you know modify the flames and it will update so once we're happy with that we can delete that surface bring the bead back Pulling it away. There we go. Look, I'm bringing that into a presentation mode now. If you want to do the change it so it'll show you the base surface or the bottom surfaces if you find going to one of your display modes there's lots on this case matrix it has them all built in but essentially you just need to set one up copy one of the ones that you say the shaded one and then find this uh, back face settings um, single uh, colour for all back faces and then just put a colour in there but don't go too bright with it just keep it uh, so it's, it's a bit easy on the eye um, and then make sure you rename that um, as you know show back faces or something so you can click into that display and it'll show you them also um, the ISO curve one again matrix have them set up um, so if you pick another one and set that up and call that UV normals or something like that, uh, then you need to look down um, a copy of, yeah, copy it and then set it as UV normals. Um, and then you need to, I'm just trying to find the one that's near so I can show you how it's set. Uh, there we go. Um, so you go objects. So it's not UV, UV normals, which you set objects and then surfaces, and then uh, your two colours and you use specified UV colours, and that will, you know, that that helps as well. And you can set that up maybe with the with the back faces and just use that when you're doing flow until you get the hang of it. So I hope that helps. Um, I'm going to try and do a few more videos. I'm not done any for a while and I'm gonna maybe do some videos on making stuff and setting stones, a bit of casting. Just always just see see how it goes, so say like and subscribe. Have a good day uh, and just remember never be too busy cutting down trees to sharpen the saw. Thanks a lot, bye bye.